Hey everybody, Christian here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you take your videos that you shot on your iPhone, like I'm doing right now, and put them on your Windows computer. And let's get right to it. Cherry the dog. Okay, I'm at my Windows computer now, and I've got my iPhone, and I'm ready to start transferring over my photos and videos from my phone to my computer. So I'm gonna be using Windows 11, but this method will still work with Windows 10, and we're gonna be using Windows File Explorer to transfer all of these files over from the phone to the computer. So for this tutorial, you're gonna need a USB cable to plug your phone into your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And now that it's plugged in, make sure to number one, unlock the phone using either Face ID or your passcode. If this is the first time you're plugging in your iPhone to your computer, you should see a little message pop up on your phone screen that says, do you want to trust this computer? Go ahead and hit trust to continue. Now your Windows computer should recognize your iPhone and you might even get a notification that pops up asking you what you want to do with that device. Um, if you don't see that pop up or you missed it, you can simply open the Windows File Explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch here and just go ahead and click on this and that'll open up uh, my Windows File Explorer. I'm going to go to my PC here and double click on that. And now you can see that amongst all my drives, I have an Apple iPhone device and I can just double click on that. Now, if your Windows is like mine, the contents of your iPhone might not show up right away. So just give it a second or two and eventually the contents should show up. Okay, so we've got the contents showing up here on my iPhone. It starts off with internal storage. So we're gonna go ahead and drill down into that folder and you're gonna see DCIM as the next initial folder. So fun fact, DCIM stands for digital camera images. It's a fun fact for the old uh, noggin there. Okay, now we're gonna drill down into the DCIM folder. So let's do that now. And in here, you're gonna see a lot of subfolders. Now, if you're like me, you're gonna probably have years and years of photos and videos stored on your phone, and that's okay. Uh, you can kinda of see that they are automatically created with a, a unique file naming convention, and that is uh, the year followed by the month of that year. So in this case, we've got 2019 followed by 12, so December 2019. Now, because the photos and videos that I want to transfer, I most recently took, I can just go very, very easily to the very bottom of this list and find them in here. Uh, the downside of using the Windows Explorer is that it's not entirely clear and obvious which folder your photos might be in. But if you know that you just recently took them, then they're going to be in the most recent folder. And as we can see here, all of my photos and videos that I recently took that I want to transfer off are indeed in this folder. Now, if it's the case that you took a photo or video that you want to transfer out that wasn't one of the most recent ones, you're gonna to need to go back and you're gonna to need to look through each of these subfolders and find the appropriate picture or video you wanna transfer over. Okay, now that I've located the photos and videos that I wanna transfer from my phone to my computer, I can very simply just click and drag any one of these files over from the folder that is coming from my iPhone and onto my computer. I'm gonna use a convenient place, just the desktop for now, and we're done. So now I've got a picture that I've transferred from my phone onto my computer, double click it, open up, there's my dog, Cherry. Also, I can of course transfer over videos as well from my phone to my computer, so I'm gonna try that now. I'm gonna take a couple of these, I'm gonna click and use control to select a few of them, and I'm just gonna drag them over to my desktop. And there you have it, now it's transferring over to my desktop. And that's pretty much it. Now that I've got the videos on my computer, I can import them into any video editing program I like. For me, I use Adobe Premiere Pro, and they'll work just fine. Ah, there she is, Cherry the Dog. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have a comment, please leave them below. And if you like the video, please like. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a great rest of your day. Bye now.